hello guys welcome to today's video um this is a ts tech talk video so guys um today i just opened my facebook and i'm reading this information that says you will see new page experience in three days and this i have actually been opening facebook for a while but um for some reason this is the first day i'm seeing this information so um if they are bringing a new facebook page experience just like last year i don't know the reason why so i might have to be creating even more tutorials for you guys on the facebook page and i probably am going to be focusing on um the desktop version because the mobile version have not changed so far and there is no message on the mobile version for a, any changes so i'm going to be making more videos for you guys on the desktop version so um but because we have more mobile users i might have to be creating more stuff so it says um there is going to be a fresh page design which is going to have a new page layout it makes it easier to find manage everything on the page and then it says more ways to be social which um follow others from your page news feeds like comment and this is probably one of the feature they removed i think they are trying to bring it back like for other page to follow other page and then they say simplify action insights so which is probably going to be having our insight of us checking how our pages is doing and how it's growing also i think that's going to be very good because it's currently not so good um the only way i check my insights properly is that i have to go over to um the facebook creator studio and then under this area it says um what will stay the same it says the content information um your page existing post your page information and others won't change ads and campaign um you will still create ads and manage campaign okay um i actually do not use to create my ads on my facebook i actually use uh, facebook business to create that and then it says um permission existing admin will share their permission all, all this are uh, normal stuff okay existing admin will share their own um their ownership of the page on facebook um they will automatically receive an invitation to manage this page when you switch to existing so when you switch to new experience sorry and then what will change page followers and like um your updated page will display your followers and a follow button in the page of um in the place of page likes okay all right that's cool and a like button okay um i don't know how they are going to do that but depending on what they want to do i i actually want to say it follows are meaningful because they represent um people who receives updates from your page um you currently have 13 um 13 116 13 one cc's so followers that is um if i click this i can still learn more update on page row existing admin we have facebook um access with full control and existing editors can be given facebook page access with partial control okay that has been there before i do not know what they are trying to change here but that has been there before any action that um that you take as the page um as this page uh, okay includes including when you check in to a location um may be visible to anyone else who manages the okay um i do not exactly understand this properly but i think probably if you are a page manager since it relate, is relating to page management any anybody that actually visit your page and um do any changes will actually have to see this and then it says new content is shown on updated page if you switch back to classic pages um content content you share through new page experience won't be visible on facebook okay i why would that be possible like i want to make okay some new features are um are not available yet um okay anyway let me just update and then use the new page experience now so let me click on update and use so let me see if it's actually going to update it and show me all of these new features that it's talking about. So let's wait for it, guys. It might take a while, so I might have to um, pause this video to wait for it to load. Um, but this is actually, I'm actually excited to see this new page uh, stuff. Okay, it's already loading. Um, I think my internet is a bit fast today. I'm actually curious on how the page is going to look like. Okay, 
Now it says um, your page has been updated. Um, any action you take as the page TS Tech Talk is now separated from your profile. Okay, that has been there before. Um, you can switch from your page and profile at any time. Oh, really? This is cool. This is cool. This has not been there before, but I think this is an addition and I like it. So, and it says receive page notification on your profile. Yes, I want to receive page notification on my profile. And then this, um, this helps you to make sure that you don't miss. Okay, I'm going to leave that on default. So I'm going to say use page. So I'm currently being, um, the page manager. Okay, there is a bit different right here on the button section. This, because I'm actually the page, um, manager right now, it has this feature. And before it used to have, um, my my thumbnail used to cover of the whole screen but now it's it cropped a little in the center of the screen and it's not looking bad and there is the post about mention service followers photos and more what is in the more okay this has been on the previous one apart from this is new these are all in the previous one let me scroll down even more okay manage sections um, the manage session is just to manage all of this area. Let me see this three dotted icon, what it does. Okay. Um, promote page, um, add story, manage. I think this has been existing before, but, um, this actually looks a bit different. And now there is, um, you can actually click on start a tour. If you do not understand it properly, you can just start a tour to just start the tour and see. Let me scroll down on my page. Let me see how it looks like. Okay, um, it actually says complete your page to grow your audience. Okay, um, I'm not going to click on that yet because I've, uh, my page is actually complete. And this has been there. This has been there on the previous one. This also, okay, um, I think this one has been there, but it used to be somewhere in the bottom just after you've seen your video and everything. But for some reason, they have actually added this on top. Which is also very cool. Um, I like it. Um, let me see. Okay, my post is actually arranged. And whoa, there is now a add feature, add a hobby, edit detail. Why would I add a hobby since it's a page? I do not know the reason why they've added this, but this is awesome. I'm actually going to be making more tutorials for you guys on Facebook page. Um, I, I, I'm yet to actually round up on my TikTok videos so guys this is really interesting and these are all posts okay this is a video okay now the video is looking a bit different from the previous video initially the videos we play without having the introduction but even though it had the introduction it still doesn't give um it still doesn't give the title of my video because every video i publish on facebook page i always give the um introduction of that video like um introducing to the video um like giving a title like there's supposed to be a title before this description this is only the description of my video and cool is showing but for some reason the title of the video is still not showing okay um this is just a post if you click it it's going to link you to my website and guys this is not so bad but i think um this experience is not so bad but i i think i still like the previous one the previous one there is a way it arranges your video and your playlist but i can't see my playlist right here i cannot see my playlist so this is this is somehow this is really weird okay let me see i just noticed right now that it's showing me profile dot um php and then the id of my page that is actually the id of my page but it's supposed to be showing the link of my page let me see if i can get the link of my page this is actually going to be confusing to some people actually the link to my page is actually supposed to be ts tech talk but i want to see if there is still a way to share the link because usually when you want to share link to um people or maybe on facebook profile or other area you can just um click on this three dotted icon and you will see share link or share but right now i can't find it i'm going to still take some time to explore this later on and let me see the messenger area if it's showing my facebook messenger or or it's showing my personal profile messages i just want to be sure since this is looking more like a page and if you notice right there it's actually showing um my facebook page which is 
I'm interacting with my Facebook page. Let me click on that to see what it displays right here. Okay, um, the internet is a bit slow right now. Then I'm going to pause it. So guys, um, after a long wait, I, I was able to see what was actually loading. So it turns out that whenever you click on this area, you see different option. And this option is actually going to let you to switch to your profile. When I click on it, I will be able to switch to my profile. And when I clicked on that messenger earlier, this is actually where it brought me. And where it brought me was under the messenger area of my Facebook page. So um, now it says, um, please try refreshing your page and reopening the browser. So I think probably it's trying to refresh. So when I switch to my main profile, this is actually where it brought me to. So from your page, you can navigate to your profile. And let me see if I can navigate from my profile to my page. Okay, I actually have that option, which actually makes it look cool. So I can easily navigate from my page to my profile and my profile to my page. But guys, there is actually an issue right now because um, I just launched this update right here. And this update is actually um, displaying only one Facebook page. And I actually have more than one Facebook page. So I'm going to find a way to actually get over this. It's only showing two of my Facebook page, which is this Rich Family and this TS Tech Talk. So I don't know the reason why, but let me just go back to my Facebook page briefly and see how it navigates quickly. So this navigation is not bad and the way it's displayed is not also bad because actually it, it, um, it added a lot of features. Now I can easily create story. You guys, I'm still taking some time to look at this area. This is looking more like a a profile section where you have your Facebook profile page. You can make your post, create a room, and below this area, you see there, right there, these are actually the pages that I'm following. And I can easy, easily follow people. I think there is even more to these guys. We are going to look at that later on. And if you look at this left-hand area, you can notice it says professional dashboard, groups, and uh, watch memories. And if you click under this area, you can even see even more things. I think this is actually very awesome and it looks very cool to um to be a facebook page dashboard or to be a facebook page profile area don't worry let's look at it even more and you can see right here you can easily um check your messages and cre <coughs> create a um promotion and on top of this area this is also the messenger area and there is even a menu for our for our facebook page i think this um, new layout is actually very improved and very unique and the notification section actually um limits your notification from your profile and your page but i think everything about this page right now looks awesome now guys let's even look at this left hand section there are even more things just like on the menu area you can easily click and see and this is actually one of the introduced new feature and if you click on the professional um, dashboard area, you can notice um, it has preview. You can notice your new like, post engagement. And if you scroll down, you see even more things. Man, um, for some reason, I'm loving this new layout. I think they actually added a lot of things and made it a, um, look a lot easier than it used to be. So, guys, I'm going to take some time to um learn this and create even more video i don't know how the mobile area look like but i'm going to also check out the mobile section and see if they have improved anything or whatever we are going to improve and then guys this is end of the video um i'm going to try to study this layout pro properly and then make more videos for you guys all right guys i'm going to see you on my next video thank you so much for your time watching this video and i'm going to see you on my next video please stay safe and Peace.